Welcome back to the channel everybody. In this video I'm going to give you a demonstration of how to use NACA online darts. The purpose of this video is to let you know what technology you need, how to play online against friends or against um, people you don't know, and how to play in a tournament using NACA and more specifically if you are playing in a darts map tournament or an ODKL event this will be super relevant for you. Okay, firstly, just to set your mind at ease, NACA is so simple to use. It's really easy once you know. The UI is a little bit tricky in places, but once you're used to it, you'll find it super easy. You can play with just a mobile phone, or you can use a laptop and a webcam. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating on my laptop with the webcam, but for the setup now, which we'll get to, let's use the mobile phone. Okay, first and foremost, I've got an Amazon Basic tripod, which I've got extended out just to the side of the board. It's nicely out the way of my throw line and out the way of the board, so I'm not gonna hit it. And I've got it set up there, so my webcam is as close to the board as possible. I will show you in a moment how to actually connect to the NACA app, but just a few basics. I've got an extension here, which was 2.99 that just screws in to the tripod. I've turned the tripod on its side and now I connect my phone by just basically, easier said than done, sticking it in there like that. So that's now connected. Just note how you can see on my screen that the board is full. The board fills my display screen. It fills my phone here. Now if I was using a webcam, it would need to be exactly the same. We want the board to absolutely fill the screen. Why is that? That's because when you're playing an opponent, they're gonna have that on their screen and you want them to be able to see where your darts are landing as easy as possible. Just a final note on the etiquette, as alongside that as well, just make sure when you go to retrieve your darts from the board, before you do, you just shout and say 100 or 45 or 26. But make sure you're shouting out your scores and that that board fills the screen there. That's some basics. Now let's actually connect to the NACA app and show you how to get online. Okay, first and foremost, you're gonna head to NACA.com and that will take you to the initial NACA landing page, which is quite simple, but it can be a little bit confusing where to go. For the purpose of this demonstration, head to N01 on the right-hand side. Once you're here, you've got two options. Well, actually, you've got a number. But for this demonstration, we're going to start with N01 Online, which is where you'll be playing against friends or playing against people you don't know online. And then you've got N01 Tournament, which is some of the darts map tournaments that we're going to talk about in the second half of this demonstration. So to begin with, let's go to N01 Online. When you first land on this page, it can seem a little confusing. How do we find somebody? How do we play? How do we get involved in some of these games? Well. First thing you have to do is you need to join using the button in the top right hand corner. When you click join, you've got some options. You can either log in with an account or you can connect with your Facebook, your X or your Google account. So I sign into NO1 online using my Google account and now I've got some options. I can add a country and get a little flag next to my name. This is where I can connect my webcam and this is the same if you're working off of your mobile phone. So completely relevant for both. To connect the webcam, make sure the tick is there. Click webcam settings. You can use a webcam on another device. So this is where you would scan a QR code with your mobile phone. As you can see here, scan that with my mobile phone and we are connected with the, my camera on my, on my, easy for me to say. You're connected with your camera on your mobile phone or you can connect using a USB device and you probably spotted my one here which is looking straight back at you and there's my board in the background. Of course before I do this I'll have that set up exactly as I showed at the beginning of the demonstration. Okay so my webcam set up I'm using audio so I can chat to my opponents I click done and now you will come back to your final screen and the only real things to kind of flag here is firstly secret mode so if you're playing against a friend you don't want somebody random to jump in that game before them so you can assign a secret code which they will then fill in to join your game and here you can select what you're playing to first to four legs five legs sets what you want to start on 301 501 701 whatever you fancy so i'm just going to do a standard four leg game my secret passcode is daz 
and I click done. Now if you wanted to join me in a game you would simply click play here and you would type in the code DAS. And let me show you an example. We can see there's a game that Duncan's looking to play. I would click play and it's asking for the code. Obviously I don't know what that is. Once you have selected a game it will take you straight into play. So if we click this game here, and sorry, there's the sound that we all recognise and off you go, you're away. Sorry UDO. And finally in here, you can actually, if you're, because they, they get quite busy with all the different names and players, particularly in the evening, you can just search for the player that you're looking to play using the box at the top here, and then you would click play, type in the code, and you're off. So the second demonstration here is all about the tournaments. So if I go back to my Nakaro One home screen, I click on tournament. Now, if you've registered for a darts mat competition, or an ODKO event, you will get a link which will take you directly to the tournament that you need to play. However, if you don't have that link or you can't, you know, you can't find it, you want to find the tournament manually, you can simply type in the name of the tournament in here and it will bring up the tournament for you to play. And as you can see, I'm doing a demonstration ahead of our July Darts Mat tournament. Click in the tournament. and you can see we've got some groups. Now, you are not in the tournament at this stage. For you to join the tournament and begin your fixtures, you need to, the same as the online, the one-on-one -on -one games, you need to click join. And once you click join, you select your name and you type in the password. And now as you can see, I am online and I am playing in this tournament. To simply play one of my games, I click on my name and I select my next game, which is against Paul Mitu, and I wait for Paul to join. Now when you're playing a darts mat competition, there is the telegram so you can message and get your fixtures played. Same with the ODKL through Facebook, it's entirely up to you. As you complete your game, it automatically updates in the league table and the players will filter through into the knockout stages into the final. Along the top here you can look at the bracket, you can have a look at who's playing live, so if there's fixtures going on at that moment you can see them unfold, you can see the results, and you can see some statistics and details about the competition here. The final thing I want to show you, which I quite like about NACA, it's quite basic, but you get some pretty decent statistics in here. Now I don't play as much on NACA as I used to, but you can see my running three dart average running throughout. No comments please. And you can look back at some of your averages in each game that you've played. Your sets percentage, legs percentage win. It's just quite interesting when you're trying to keep up to date with your stats and seeing if there is an improvement. In the top right hand corner as well is your history. And that will show you every game that you've played on this platform alone. As you can see, I've been more of a darts counterman recently, but you can play, as you can see, in as many different games as you like here, and you can see your history. If you click into the game, let's pick one where I played all right, played all right here, you can actually look back at the three dart average, your first nine average, how many scores over 60, 80, 100, and beyond. Did we get a 180? We did not. But I find it quite a useful statistic for just tracking whether you are on an upward curve, downward curve, and maybe spotting some, some places where you need to work on your game. Finishing, scoring, you get the drill. There you go everybody, I hope you found that useful. If you do want to play in a darts mat online event, or even one of our live events in person, be sure to check out on the link below to dartsmat.com events. If you have any other questions or you want me to elaborate on something, just comment below. I'll always do my best to reply. Good luck with your darts. Throw well. Hopefully see you at an event soon. Ciao.